Hi there, and welcome back to Church School. It's really great to be with you for our Epiphany edition. It is great to be back. Father Larry, do you have a blessing this morning? Of course. We're in, back in our ordinary time, so we'll use our ordinary blessing. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be His kingdom now and forever. Amen. Now, that was a funny word. Let me see if I can say it. Epiphany. Epiphany. That is a very strange word. What does that mean? Well, can you see me? Mm, a little bit. You can see me a little bit. Now, can you see me? Oh, much better. I've been revealed. And that's all epiphany means. It's it means to be revealed. You can see what you thought you might begin to see. So in epiphany, we begin to learn more about who Jesus is. Oh, well, our friend Hannah Bjornsson has a story about epiphany for us. Should we listen to it? Of course. Great. My name is Hannah, and today I'm going to read you the story of the three wise kings, retold and illustrated by Tommy DePaula. Long ago in the east, in lands far from one another, there lived three kings, Melchior of Arabia, Gaspar of Sarsis, and Balthazar of Saba. These wise men studied the stars. Each night they looked at the sky and wrote down where they, the stars were, where they had come from, and where they were going. One night, a star they had never seen before appeared in the sky. Each of the kings consulted his books and found that this new star was the sign that a great king was about to be born. So each king, not knowing about the others, set out to follow the star to find the child king and to honor him. And each carried with him a gift. Melchior took gold, Gaspar frankincense, and Balthazar myrrh. After many days and nights, the three wise kings met. They found that they were all following the same stars. So they continued their journey together. But as they came near to Jerusalem, they lost sight of the star and they did not know which way to go. Let us ask at the palace of King Herod, one of them said. Surely Herod will know of the birth of another great king. Where is he that has been born to be king of the Jews? They asked. We have seen his star in the east, and we have come to honor him. Now Herod, who was an evil man, was disturbed when he heard this. He wished to be the only king in that land. He went to his chief priests and learned men and asked them where this child would be born. It has been written at Bethlehem in Judah, they told him. Herod sent for the three kings. Go to Bethlehem and find out all about the child king, he said. And when you have found him, come back and tell me so I, I may worship him too. The three wise kings set out for Bethlehem, not knowing that Herod wanted to destroy the newborn baby. And there in the sky, once again, was the star. They followed it until it stopped over the place where the child was born. Like a flame of fire, that star pointed out God, the King of Kings. And going into the place, they saw the child with his mother, Mary, and falling down on their knees, they honored him. Then they opened their treasures and offered the gift of gold and frankincense and myrrh. That night, as the king slept, they were warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, for he wished to destroy the child. 
So the three kings to keep Herod from finding the child returned to their countries by a different way. Thanks so much, Hannah. That was a wonderful story all about the three kings. Yes, it was. It seemed to me like the three wise men had quite a surprise when they found Jesus. I don't think he was exactly the kind of king that they were expecting to find, do you? You never can tell with Jesus. He surprises us all the time. Well, how about an art project? Yes, I think we have a star to make. So let's go to the Arts and Crafts studio now. Hi, welcome to Arts and Crafts with Mrs. Byrne. Look, here are the crowns for the three wise men. We have one, two, three. There were three wise men. And over here, I see the gifts that the wise men brought. I see gold, I see frankincense, and I see myrrh. They're beautiful, aren't they? Today, I thought it would be fun to make a star decoration. Now, there are lots of ways to make stars, and sometimes it's nice just to color a star, like I did this one. But this is a flat star, and today we're going to make one that is three-dimensional. It will actually stand up by itself. It looks like this, and it has one, two, three sides to it. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. You need some things. You need some scissors that are safe for you to use. You need some markers or crayons would work too, or even paint if you wanted. You need some white glue. You need some scotch tape and you need a little bit of ribbon or string, any kind that you have will work fine. The last thing you need is the most important thing. It's the printout of a star that you will find on the website. You need to print out three stars. Now the star that's printed out is going to be just plain white like this but we wanna make ours very fancy. So you're going to take your markers or crayons and decorate your stars. I already did some for you to show you. The first one is the one I showed you before. And then I did another one that has a fancy star in the middle. And I did this one that almost looks like a spider web in the middle but you can decorate yours any way you want and use whatever colors you want. I think that it's nice to use a lot of different colors, but you'll do whatever you think looks the nicest. Once you finish coloring them, then you want to cut them out all around. I think it's best to color it first and then cut it out. So when you've cut all three stars out like this, then you're ready to start to think about putting it together. I'm going to move this out of the way. Okay, this is the trickiest part. We need to fold the stars. I'm going to show you how I do that. I have to take the star and fold it in half, all right? So I'm going to match up the points on two parts of my star. So I have, oh, you know what? I'm going to put my glasses on first. I'll do a much better job. So I'm going to take one point and match it up with another point on the star. And then carefully, 
I'm going to match up the second part. So now I have two points that are matching and I'm going to press down and make a fold right down the middle of the star. The part that I have to be most careful with is this point. I'm going to be very gentle, but I need to fold it all the way in half and I need to press down pretty hard at the end. And now all I can see is the white side of the paper. I'm going to pick it up and crease it between my fingers, make a really nice fold. And then I'm going to open it up and I'm going to turn it inside out and fold it again right on the same fold, really press down. Okay, so now I have a fold in the middle of my star. Okay, now we're ready to do the gluing part. I already folded my other two stars in half. All right, and now we're gonna match them up. So I'm going to take my glue and we're gonna put the glue on the white side. So let me fold this one in half again. So I only see half and I'm going to put the glue all over one half of my star. I wanna make sure the glue gets down to the points and it's really kind of all over the star. If you wanted to, you could even take a brush and spread it around really carefully. But here it is, here's one. And now I have to take one of my stars that's folded up and I'm going to match them together, just like this. And press down. And you'll see that now it looks like this on one side and on the back it looks like that. We just made another star, didn't we? We took two halves and made a whole star. But we're not finished yet. We're gonna make it really fancy because we still have another star to add on, all right? So I'm going to take my other star. Remember, I'm only gonna use half of the star at a time and I'm going to put glue on it the same way I did before, all the way out to the tips. And I really want to make sure I use enough glue for this. And as I say, if you use a brush, you can spread it out even better. All right, now we're going to do that matching thing again. We're going to put the two stars together and we're going to match up the points. One, two, three. And I can press down a little bit. And it does take a little while for this to dry, but I can open it up and you can see what I have now. My goodness. Okay. So now I still have a star, don't I? But this time I'm going to put a, the glue on the last half right here. And guess what? I'm going to fold it down and match the points again. And I have a very nice 3D star. Okay. Now, if you want to be able to hang it up, that's why you need the ribbon or the string. You just need a little piece, however long you want. And this is this curly Q ribbon, but really it doesn't matter. Any ribbon is good. I'm just gonna fold my piece in half. And I'm going to take a little piece of scotch tape. There it is. And I'm going to put it across the ends. And then I'm going to put it 
right on the top of my star, like that. And when it's all dry, I'll have a beautiful 3D star decoration. So I hope you'll try this at home. It's a lot of fun, and you can make as many as you want. Now it's time to go back to the church. Well, thanks for that project. It was absolutely stellar. So. <laughs> and 3D. <laughs> but now we have some music from Major Tom and his friends. So let's go and hear what they have for us now. Happy New Year, everybody, and great welcome to 2023 and the first version of Major Tom's Clubhouse here in 2023. Very happy to have with, with me tonight my good pals, Artie, and Diana's back. Yay, Diana's feeling better, and she's going to prove to us she's feeling better here. And uh, how can you not feel great? Jesus was just born. We're here in the Epiphany season. The wise men have, uh, have, have visited Jesus. And so has the little drummer boy, just when Jesus is beginning to appreciate music, as we know from the story. So are you guys ready? Ready. All right. A newborn king to see, bum bum our finest gifts we bring, pa-rum-pa-bum-bum To lay before the king, pa-rum-pa-bum-bum Rum-pa-bum-bum, rum-pa-bum-bum So to honor him, pa-rum-pa-bum-bum When we come Thank you, Tom and Artie and Diana. 
That was fun. It's been a great deal of fun celebrating Epiphany with all of you today. Father Larry, do you have a prayer for us? I do, and it actually comes from a hymn. As with gladness men of old did the guiding star behold, as with joy they hailed its light, leading onward, beaming bright. Here's the prayer. So, most gracious Lord, may we evermore be led to Thee. Now, may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you this day and forevermore. Amen. We'll see you next time. Stay safe. Bye-bye. Thanks for tuning in.